Well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Game to the Max and part 22 of our Hearts of Iron 4 Kaiserreich, the German Empire. So, in the last episode, we uh, knocked out India and we have moved our forces into China to help beat back the Empire of Japan. Our focus uh, right now is to knock out the Co Prosperity Sphere. Uh, we've already capitulated the Philippines, we've capitulated uh, Insul India, and we are about to hopefully capitulate the Kingdom of Siam here relatively soon. Um, on top of that, in the last episode, our somewhat friends, no longer friends, Argentina and the Buenos Aires Lima Axis, and pretty much all of South America, except for Colombia and Venezuela, they uh, declared war on me. So we'll have to come over here at some point and uh, defeat these guys. So, I don't know. Let me look. Uh, Argentina. So, if we capitulate Argentina, we capitulate everybody. So, that is good for us. So, let us start out by... We'll start in the game, of course. We're pushing them back here near Nangcheng and Anqing. And then, uh, let's see, we've got... Uh, okay, so we sunk, we lost 14 submarines, we sunk a carrier, two battleships, and a battle cruiser with, yeah, that's pretty good. The Wiltvolk, uh, it is a fact of history that Germans are a people born to dominate and rule who do not deserve to be stuck in Central Europe but must expand throughout the world. They are the Wiltvolk. A people of the world. Trippitz understood this. He was unparalleled Weltpolitiker who was willing to lead Germany out of its con continental confinement and though he is no longer with us and he is stopped by an egotistic party politicians he needs to follow his footsteps and lead Germany into a grand joy uh, feature. Of course we should not go at it alone. Germany is the heart of the engine of the greater Europe Grovirpa, but a heart cannot beat with all the other, without all the other organs that make up the body. Much like how Europe without Germany would be a shell of itself, so it would be without Spain, France, Russia, or Italy. Still, Europe needs to be led by a world-minded people such as the Germans, and all of Europe has something in common, Christian spirit and a pure European character. Germany thus has a natural will to lead Europe, a pan-European bloc, which will struggle against the other grand civilizations and prevail. A German-led Europe must dominate the globe from the Americas to the farthest reaches of Asia, and our regimes, uh, and our regime reviving German national pride, we shall see the dream through Gain plus 10 war support and gain 3% popularity for paternal autocrats. All right, with that, we've got last part of our National People's Union, and that's going to be Permanent and Alien Act. Let's see, let's do some more propaganda, because we need it. Missing production equipment, guided missiles, yeah. Maybe because we can't build those. We've got these marine units, they're going to try to naval invade here at Fong Fen take this tile and then we'll move this army in there and begin our assault. We've got a ridiculous amount of units up here. You are, oh you are all still training. That is because I am paying attention. join that's why I'm not uh, doing much with them I asked they said no so Argentina is declaring war on the rest of our allies I 
think there's one more level. Yeah, the modern. We'll keep going. I just want to look real quick. Modern medium airframe. Rocket rails. Small bomb bays. So some turret defense on you. Self sealing fuel tanks. Some bomb sides and air defense around. Oh, really? Oh, so you're telling me I can have one radio. Going in the background. There we go. All right. Got a bunch of media, uh, modern tanks. Uh, and let's see. Panzer divisions. He's got a lot more expensive, but oof. Yeah. Probably doesn't have the manpower for that, but I didn't care. Do we not have enough modern tanks? We did not. Not even by a little bit. That's fine. We're making 16 a day, so. Range naval attack. Well, that'd be fun. Breaking their ciphers. Let's see. Let's break Argentina ciphers as well. Okay. That was another fight. Lost one destroyer, five submarines, sunk seven destroyers, and three light cruisers. It's not not horrible. We're liberating quite a bit of China here. Tree that it's not really there. The only way we can release a administration is if their resistance strength is gone. Chunky Middle Africa.
they're gonna we're gonna keep seeing that until we call everybody. You're ready. Okay, you all stop training. Our Marines are better now than what they were. Oh, they're naval invading there too. Some of our uh, Finnish troops. Or not ours, but our allies. Equipment shipments to East Asia, send uh, 2,500 of our infantry equipment to German East Asia. Old goes first, that's fine. I'm going to research paratroopers. We probably will never build any paratroopers, but... I can in the end say at least I have some paratroopers. You guys tried to attack there and kind of failed. My naval invasion worked. take you gentlemen under Gerd von Rudenstein move them here and do that right. yeah there we go for them gentlemen Flanders Bologna. there's the permanent enabling act it gives us war penalty, stability modifier plus 20%, and political advisor cost negative 33%. I don't want to do that just yet. some of these which I guess since I guess they consider the uh, DKP winning that Let's see. do that monthly population it doesn't actually matter all it all it will do is put the uh, moderates up a little bit get these guys to meet so these troops there will have at least some type of oh well we absolutely doink those gentlemen so you guys can Choice of agenda, we got financial injection. Now I'll take my marines. Naval invasion. Major unrest in occupied syndicalist territories. We lose 20 command power, negative 500 man, or I'm sorry, command, yeah, command power, negative 500 manpower, 20 political power, and negative 4% war support. Uh, I assume we rounded up the troublemakers. Don't know if we've seen that yet, but we have seen quite a bit of everything happening. Take sight gallon there and save those units. Uh, a quiet moment far away from Berlin on a cold morning, the bell of a small church in the Pomeranian village of 
Hopfenberg strikes 10.30, marking the end of the weekly Sunday sermon. The few attendants leave the building, which wish themselves farewell and go their separate ways. Among them is a prominent and honored guest, an old man with a bushy mustache, slim and slender, rooted to his home district like an ancient oak, none other than ex-Chancellor Ewald von Kleischemans. While on the way to his park car, he takes out his pipe and tries to locate the little matchbox in the depth of his coat pocket as he is suddenly approached by a stranger, someone Kleist has never seen before in his tranquil village. Herr von Kleischemans, he hears him yell through the cold winds. Villegard Chris. Chris Blatt, can we get your statement on a recent political event in Berlin? It's not the first time that the alt councillor has been sought out by reporters, mostly from local papers or foreign newspapers. But what he really thinks about the current government would not even be printed under the given censorship anymore. A political project with so many potential, and yet it got diluted along the way by the very same kind of people Kleist had pledged to fight many years ago. Greedy, egotistical parliamentarians in the guise of upright conservatism. What has brought over Germany, entrenched rule of one corrupt party, a far cry from the organic leadership many envisioned a decade ago. The nobility has become even more decadent, nationalist rhetoric even more vulgar. Arguably, the Prussian spirit is just as dead as it was 10 or 20 years ago. Populism, radical nationalism, materialism, and mass politics have long substituted the old Prussian values of noble quality. All this would only have been half as bad if Christ himself had not contributed to this abom abomination with his own na naivety. But the alt can chancellor has a long grown weary of political discussion. He packs away his pipe on lint and waves the reporter off. Tell your audience, he replies, that I am at full peace with myself and my God. I am not available for interviews. While his Mercedes pulls away, Kleist looks melancholy into the distance. Lying may be a sin, but what else remains in these bleak times led to flee into privacy and seclusion? Als is verschwunden, was melund und leib hab kein Glück gefunden. Everything that was dear to me has disappeared. I have found no happiness. Only homesickness remains. Very sad. In the end, technically, this is not really what I was hoping to get uh, out of this campaign. But it was, you know, it's how, it's how it ended. We're cleaning up this pocket of Fang Tang troops here. Ciphers. I still don't think I can call Burma. Trying to let, let there be
Caleb has fallen ill. Angetreten. A second. Right. Robert von Mackesen was wounded. Still pretty weak, right? Got a bunch of destroyers, though. You're in 81 divisions. You're not that weak, that's for sure. Which kill's not incredibly weak either. You're doing the European doctrine for your military. Uh, nuclear bombs now. Keep researching these armored cars. We're not even building them, but you know, to have them, to have them. We'll probably knock out the few Japanese troops they got left over here. Angetreten. Japanese convoys. Can promote uh, national Catholicism. Spend ten percent of my standing units. That'd be horrible. You want to come probably somewhere like right there. My Marines, once we land against uh, the Japanese. So bad here. You know, I ask questions and then I get disappointed when I get the answers.
Iraq declared war on somebody. Do you want to build some transport planes? And you might say, you said you weren't going to use these. Near. You would be right, but... I guess I get to use what I want to use. <laughs> Need some more modern tanks, but we'll we'll get there. Angetreten. Gambia has capitulated. Uh, yep. They got naval invaded by Argentina. Oh, there's the fall of Bangkok, so that should be. So I am a. Oh, yeah, I forget. Shang Mei. Angetreten! Guys, to sit right here. Why does it say there's only? Angetreten. Let you all train for a little bit. Sunk some submarines. Taking the hottest shit for there, which I had to hit. I think I've done pretty much everything. Sam's like, we didn't need to do this. Capitulates, I am. Take all the territories. That I can. We'll take your navy just because I said we will. Give you the territory. Here. You all are all 
also coming over here. Oh, there's a naval invasion going. I'll have you all sit there. Continue to train. Figure out what we'll do. I'll make this really easy. Everybody joined. I don't know why the French want to join, but Sierra Leone, Liberia, the Chad, Haiti, Wales, the Ruskies, Lithuania, the Central American Republic, Upper Volta, Ivory Coast, and Greece. I probably didn't have to read all those, but me. Attack Yokohama there. Oh, we're paused. This is to promote national Catholicism. Not there anymore. It's a fifty percent plan that just hurts the compliance. Don't do that. Oh, yeah, we can return German East Asian lands. Yeah, that gives them. Bunch more territory over here. And then it should give me. Iraq took the Sultan of Najid. I think this was. Install a puppet. I can just. Do these top gentlemen, Chakra Bonze, Siamese, and then oh, we we took it, so I ah, shouldn't have, shouldn't have clicked on it. Yeah, it's not ours right now. It's uh, Germany stages, so I guess we'll just take the the hit for it because I don't think we could have done anything there I got that gentleman in charge as I am You guys. Go. I wish Ukraine would like to move some of them units they got all sitting there in Busan. How much do I have? 26%. Machine gun only at seventeen. Oh, really? Huh.
Is that you? I just wanted to take transfer. I'm going to give it back to the Russians. The Queen Empire. There's a Queen government wants. Shin government wants to send me some troops. That's fine. Oh, let's see. Occupied territory. Victory for the Zili Click. Uh, yeah, you can. You can have Vladivostok back. Welcome, Russia. Send the like hearts. Uh, my Marines, I think, actually landed unopposed. There's the fall of Tokyo. My Marines have seized the city. The occupation requires more resources, lose a thousand manpower, negative ten political power, and negative two percent war support. So I have a whopping uh, two percent war support. Japan is also removed from the legation council. They're just going crazy with that, aren't they? You're removed. You're removed. Your cousin was removed. It looks like they're going to remove themselves from their own council. Wouldn't be shocked. I mean, really. Take Kyoto there. The Shing Empire sent me a few of their units. Austria knows that I'm probably going to screw them over when it comes to uh, getting what I want to get out of this. Um, let's see. You guys can train up. Let's actually. Not area. This should be the fall of Japan. Wouldn't that be a boon? <laughs> awesome. Uh, well, we'll write about the Navy. First of all, give me Korea. Mm. I guess we can just start taking it piece by piece. How much points do I have? 14. Oh, yeah, we have most definitely the most I 
like how this entire time Austria was like, we're not gonna, we're only just going to like work with you to the end of the war, and we'll be done. And the entire time I've just continually kind of been like, yep, yep, I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna take that. All right, now the Philippines. over these few territories over here and let's uh start taking large parts of their navy i don't know why i've been such a navy person this game all right there you go confirm and exit I don't see anything about Hawaii, so I'm wondering if I'm still at war with them. It does look like it. I yeah, they're not in a faction anymore. Give me more resources. This is what we wanted. Let's actually see. All right. You gentlemen go to Africa. Like that. It's a dot and talk. Signal companies, logistic companies. And the fate of Korea, liberate a loyal Korea. And you guys get your own type of focus tree, Kim Koo. Uh, the fate of the Philippines. And give it to German East Asia. <laughs> we can. I wonder if we can give them all of Insul India and like Indonesia as well. I mean, it hurts German East Asia, but I think they have. Yeah, they're at ninety-one stability. There you go, German East Asia, Indonesia, and they get all of it. Oh yeah, you guys have been the most useless allies this entire war, but now uh, you're big chunky allies. Uh, the fate of Japan, and we'll release a traditional government for Japan when we get the uh, they form the traditional or transitional sorry transitional government after a successful campaign on the japanese islands we now have the task to establish new local administrative authorities in order to restore peace however there are several options for our ch uh, choice do that hope it does not crash thank you uh, let's see fate of taiwan we can just give it to our Japanese allies that's fine and Papua New Guinea give it to our German East Asian <laughs> yes All right, that's the collapse of the Japanese Empire and 
uh, Hirohito is still in charge. They do start a new focus tree here. They have to create the National Police Reserve. I do enjoy how they uh, have this. So let's actually see. Let's get a uh, naval invasion order from Costa Rica to this tile here. start training All right. have you As well, send them over there. Now, what do they need? Some more tungsten. Some more chromium. Another war. Australian Confederation. Well, they better not, is all I have to say. I'm tired of these wars, man. Tired. Troopers. Navies. See, there's one singular destroyer. Thirteen submarines. So submarine is there. And a battleship, what? Well, you guys go with him. Some light cruisers. Ah yes, the entirety of the old Japanese Navy. You gotta just love it. Six carriers. I don't think I have a singular carrier that was of my own design. They've all been, uh... This reserve fleet is huge. Alright, well we're done fighting in Asia. on a successful campaign. And then you as a patrol. I want you all to patrol. Region right here. Let's actually step to you all. Who's got the highest naval base? Well, I know the United States probably has a. Uh, no. Havana. Purposely made them very, very, very able. Uh, 
let's see. They have the 50% plan. Colonial rear guards gives them resistance growth negative five percent. That's fine with me. Uh, so we go to war with Iraq. We also go to war with Egypt. Canada's naval invading. Angetreten. You guys can take that tile, but it's kind of useless because you have to have a port. The Royal Canadian Marines. Angetreten. Well, my Marines haven't even made it over there yet. think after this episode once we knock out Peru that'll probably be the end might, well we might do a couple more things but I, I expect probably about two more videos before I call the campaign good Still unable to get your warrior resistance really high. England's isn't nearly as bad. What I hate is I can't use my spies to root out resistance in these territories. Starting to cancel their non incursion packs with me. Build some infrastructure. Submarine torpedoes. Work with the People's Committee. Ah, oh, they they pardoned the collaborators. <laughs> Probably do that one. Seventy five divisions, I'll accept that. Right. 
Now to do this, I'm trying to see if it's worth it to do it. That would be not bad. Try to nail him, babe. Actually, take your Panzer Division. Go under him. Your two Panzer Divisions can go under him. We'll put you guys with him. Split you in half. Angetreten. And then you're sixteen. Angetreten. Just need what two more? Yeah. Angetreten. Oops. You two. Befehle. Leave you for right now, actually, since that's no longer needed. Let's see where you at. There you are. Boop. I do. Just make sure my strike forces. Territories. Continue on. Oops, I forgot. Gave you all a different job. Yeah, they're going up there. Achtung. See you nine. I don't know. Angetreten. Send you over to Iraq. Arms experts, that's fine. I didn't even 
paying attention to this. Let's see. Infrastructure. Arms industries, I guess. I have a yes, yeah, I'd say there's not too much uh, supply there. unrest again in the occupied syndicalist territories. We pretty much have no war support. To the Argentinians. The uh, Finnish have made a naval invasion there. Looks like the capital of Ecuador is about to fall. Try Ecuador. And you guys are able to go. You're part of the Cairo pack, right? Oh. No. You are, though. Cypher. Cypher against Argentina is fully been decrypted. Oh, whoops. There's. Reliability. I actually didn't even read that, I just clicked on it, so. Oh, 
We should be invading Hawaii here soon. Right. I guess we can't see what we're looking at, so. Bulgaria took Wake Island. I thought my navy was told to come over here. Uh, Rupert was hurt. to do do that go carrot and stick federalism our old ships. Yeah, we'll send you some of the old stuff we have. Should have a pretty big military force uh, right. And they're moving from the Mountain Republic. Seem to be struggling to fight through these territories here. More Marines. Oh, I didn't leave them radars up. I thought I did. Massive naval invasion over here. Well, they accepted. They were like, eh, we have no interest to fight with you. Support equipment. 
support equipment. Support equipment. How did we lose that much support equipment? I had like 40 something odd thousand. I wish there was just like a mass yes, so just say yes to everybody so I don't have to sit here and click on everything. He falls ill, he's wounded now, he's ill. Some of you should be uh, coughing up more than what you are, but you know, having hope also falls ill. Yeah, let's see. Sweet wants to send me a bunch, Russia wants to send me a bunch. Thank you guys. I have 136,000 trucks. I think it's that Austria has a new leader, doesn't he? Yeah, Otto the first. Yeah, but you're not nearly as good as him, right? Oh no. Well, let's see. Four, four, five, and four, four, eight, two, and three. Angetreten. I'm going to end the episode here. We've managed to do quite a bit. I mean, we're taking the fight to Brazil right now. Our armies are fighting over here in Peru, Bolivia. And hopefully at some point, my Navy uh, and my Marine divisions can go and take out the Kingdom of Hawaii. Let's see, actually. Okay. And I think I can actually build better ones of those now. But yeah, I'm going to end the episode. I hope you all have enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.